Hey YouTube folks, and thanks for clicking on this video today. The first thing I wanna say is, moment of silence. Rip Daft Punk. Okay, now that that's over, and we can move on with our lives, today I am going to be rating my top 10 Daft Punk songs, uh, since now we know all we're gonna get from Daft Punk is all we've got, so I'm gonna rate those for you today. So if you are a Daft Punk fan or you're looking to get into them after the breakup, I don't know why, but if you are, I am going to share that with you now. So let's get into the video. All right guys, so thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you decided to join us today. My name is Lucy Claire and I am so excited to share this video today because I wanna share my opinions on Daft Punk. First, I wanna tell you a little bit about who Daft Punk is and why I'm making this video because if you haven't been in on the gossip, this will seem very odd. And then Second, I am going to run from 10 to 1 of my favorite Daft Punk songs, so stick around to the end, or skip to the end, I guess, if you're one of those, if you want to see my favorite Daft Punk song. So let me explain to you a little bit who Daft Punk is. Daft Punk was a duo of two French men in the electronic music scene. They started their musical career in 1993 and have been going until this year. Even though their last release was technically in 2013, they actually started in an indie rock band called Darlin, which didn't quite work out for them. So they decided to become the electronic duo that we now know them as, Daft Punk, which is an oversimplified version of their story, but for our purposes, it works. They have since been regarded as one of the most influential dance and electronic music groups in music history. So they have a huge discography that ranges from their first release in 1997 called Homework all the way to Tron Legacy, the movie, soundtrack and score, all the way to their latest release, Random Access Memories in 2013. The duo is really known for their ability to plug different musical styles into dance and electronic music and make them work seamlessly. Uh, they've collaborated with tons of influential artists and their breakup is a huge loss to the music and electronic dance communities. Let me now take you on a journey of my 10 most favorite songs by Daft Punk because that's what you've asked for. <laughs> so let's start with number 10 on my list. So my 10th favorite song by Daft Punk is Robot Rock, which is on the Human After All album, which came out in 2005. It is the third track on the album and it is sensational. And I know that that's a lot of people's first favorite song, so please don't flame me in the comments. I actually really like this song. It starts off with this insane drum solo and you never think that the drum solo is gonna end, but then it transitions perfectly into guitar and like this synthesized like and it's so good. It's just, it is truly an attempt to get all those dad rock fans into Daft Punk. What an excellent marketing strategy that is. My ninth favorite song by Daft Punk is Teachers, and that is on their original homework album, which came out in 1997. It is the ninth track on the album, and it is so good. If any of you are Prince fans, I would definitely recommend checking out this song. It has such Prince vibes to it, um, sort of that vocoder voice that Prince sometimes uses over the top of his voice is definitely an influence in this song. I can't say that Daft Punk was 100% going for this, but to someone who listens to a lot of 80s, 70s, 60s music, I definitely heard Prince in this song. So if you are into that, go check that song out. It is great. Number eight on my list of Daft Punk songs is One More Time. Now this is one of their much more popular songs, but it lands at eight on my list just because I feel like it was pretty overplayed on the radio. The song is off their Discovery album, which came out in 2001. And this song is the first track on that record. And like a lot of artists, they definitely put one of their best as the first track. I can't blame them. <laughs> um, and I can't blame people for wanting to play it all the time because it's super good. If you like the Daft Punk style that came out of 2013 and their Random Access Memories, this is definitely a great song to check out because it 
echoes that style a lot more closely than some of their older stuff. The seventh song on my list of top 10 Daft Punk songs is Television Rules the Nation. I love this song. It is on their 2005 release, Human After All, and it is the eighth song on that album. It's kind of hidden in between other tracks. Let me tell you, this song will most definitely be stuck in your head after you hear it. Plus, the message is just so cool. Television rules the nation. Sounds like a lot of the things that people were saying in the 80s, and they're probably right. I think this song is really cool. It's actually more conceptual in the way that it works. It's got a really hard beat, um, very consistent beat, and that kind of carries it through. You get the vocoder voice that is classic Daft Punk saying television rules the nation, and it really runs into a very electronic sound that maybe is not as great for dancing, but is great for driving. My sixth favorite Daft Punk song might actually be a surprise to some. It is actually The Grid from the Tron Legacy soundtrack that Daft Punk put together, and that was in 2010. It is the second song on the soundtrack, and it is so good. It just gives you that classic Tron Legacy vibe that is kind of borderline ethereal, but also really digital. It runs the lines of um, classical music and electronic music um, really, really seamlessly and sort of brings up that nature versus electronic dichotomy that I think is really prevalent in a lot of Daft Punk's music. I will say though that The Grid has Jeff Bridges talking over it and that's part of why I love it. I think it kind of makes it kitschy in a way because Jeff Bridges' voice is so particular. So I would definitely check that out and we will move to the fifth on my list. My fifth favorite Daft Punk song is Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger from their 2001 release, Discovery, and it is the fourth track on that album. I would say if you ever went to a middle school dance anywhere between 2010 and 2015, you probably heard Kanye's Stronger play. And if you want to know a little bit more about music, Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger are actually a sample of the Daft Punk song with the same name. So you can pull that info out on your friends if for some reason it comes up. <laughs> it may never, which is probably more likely. <laughs> this song, I don't even need to explain this song to you. It's just, it goes so hard, you have to listen to it and that's all. Number four on my list of top 10 Daft Punk songs is Within, and that is from their 2013 release, Random Access Memories. It is the fourth track on that album. It is a phenomenal song, and it is very, very, very different from the rest of the songs on this list. It actually is a slow song. Bet you never thought that, that would come up. Um, it is a slow song with a very, very beautiful piano intro on the front. It's so cool the way that Daft Punk integrates that into their electronic style. If you ever want to hear the perfect combination, I would definitely check out that song. It is very different than the rest of the songs on the album, so I would definitely suggest listening to it if you're looking for a little bit different side of Daft Punk, because not all of their songs can be dance hits. A lot of them are, but not all of them can be. We are to the top three bronze, silver, and gold medals given out to these ones. So number three, the bronze prize goes to Doing It Right, Feet Panda Bear. That song is on the 2013 album Random Access Memories, as a lot of these are. It is the 12th track on that album. I think that I like this song so much just because it has such a recognizable and singable verse. It's literally just everybody will be dancing and doing it right for the whole song basically. It gets me in a good mood when I listen to it. I think that's why. Anyway, I just really like this song. I think it's a feel good song. And if you want to dance alone in your room, have a party, this is the song. All right, silver prize. Number two of my favorite Daft Punk songs is Instant Crush featuring Julian Casablancas. And it is on the Random Access Memories album that came out in 2013 and it is the fifth track on the album and it is so good it is like the most unexpected song it has a very indie feel at the beginning um with a guitar and just a very a classic 
thing they've got going and then they drop the beat for the chorus and let me tell you i've never danced so hard in my life never it's so good i swear that if you play it you will not regret it it is so good so make sure and check that out we are to the number one of my top 10 favorite daft punk songs of all time and it is beyond it is on the say it let's all say it together random access memories album from 2013 it is the ninth track on that album and it is just chef's kiss i think maybe i prefer it because it has a lot of similar features to the music that i listen to on a regular basis I am not a huge electronic dance music fan, but for some reason Daft Punk has always been able to squeeze their way in there. It comes in with a huge symphonic intro that makes you think that you're watching a Marvel movie or maybe pressed something wrong on Spotify, and then it just seamlessly glides into an electronic song and picks up on these amazing notes of other genres that you just would never expect in a song with the synth vocal over the top. Let me tell you, it is true art. And if you are looking for a great example of how Daft Punk is applicable to all other genres and times and playlists, this song is it. I can't recommend that song enough. I obviously love Random Access Memories the best out of all the albums, but I know that there are lots of diehard Daft Punk fans that would disagree and say that maybe Homework or Human After All are good albums. I want to say I am not an authority on Daft Punk. I just really, really like some of their music and I'm very, very sad that they will no longer be a group. So I wanted to do a video where I told you guys that, <laughs> quite honestly. That's why I'm here. Anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. I hope that you maybe agreed with some of my choices and maybe you don't. Leave a comment down below if you have a favorite Daft Punk song that I did not mention or that maybe isn't in the right place on my list. Don't roast me, but you can share your opinions. <laughs> if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so that you don't miss any future content coming from my channel. I upload weekly on Fridays, so I am more than happy to have any suggestions for videos that you guys may want to see in the future. Please leave them in the comments down below and I will check them out. With all that said and done, I will be looking forward to seeing you next week.